Hi everyone, I'm Evan. I'm Mike. And this is Getting Saucy. Okay, so I have a special uh, guest with me today for this episode of Getting Saucy with Evan. This is my good friend Michael. Mike wow. has been my friend for a long time. One of my oldest friends, probably since grade two, something like that. Sounds about right. And um, yeah, my wife Angela and I were visiting uh, with him and our friend Jen as well. Jen's over there, not on camera. She's not going to try the sauce. Uh, so this is kind of like an episode of getting saucy, like on location. Getting saucy on location here in. Well, we'll say Toronto, but Toronto. it is Toronto. In Toronto, Ontario. So uh, before we get uh, to the sauce, Mike, how are you with spicy food? Big fan, big fan of spice. Mm -hmm. You can handle like the most intense spice levels ever. Slather me in a tub of hot sauce. I'm game. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll see that happen. <laughs> one day. It's one day. One day. We'll make people pay yeah. lots of money. Yeah, we'll need a few more bottles than this. Though. A few more. <laughs> <laughs> so this sauce, this is called Lynx Lava by a Canadian company called Meow That's Hot. They're based out of Ottawa. Here is the label. Okay. And the ingredients in this sauce, are wine vinegar, um, watermelon, which will be a bit interesting. Red pepper, habanero, garlic, basil, spices, salt, and uh, xanthan gum, right, to give a little more consistency. Uh, let's try a smell first. I'll pass you this. I'll get you the impression of the smell. It's, I could smell it like before I even put it to my nose. Mm. What do you think of the smell? It smells good, mm -hmm. but it doesn't smell hot. It's, it smells like, um, you know, like like a, like a tomato-based salsa almost, I think. A little bit, yeah. Um, although there's no tomato in the ingredients, so go figure. So uh, I'll pour myself a bit, and then I'll get you to pour your own so that you don't blame me for how much you get. So I usually <laughs> give myself a fair amount. Oh! You go, Mike. So, just visually, this sauce is pretty thick. Um, you can see some bits of pepper, um, some seeds in there. Okay, let me show you one second here. The spoon is super full. I'm gonna show. Mike's gonna show. Okay. So you see there. Um, yeah, you can see some uh, little bits. Delicious. Whoa, Mike is matching me here. Oh yeah. Okay. This is, this is a real spoon. You ready for a taste? Of course. Cheers. Cheers. It's sweet. You gonna try some gel? Gel's gonna try some. It's very sweet. Yeah, it's it. Sweetness of the watermelon. It's what you get first. <clears throat> Do you feel any of the spice at all? There's a little bit of heat behind it. Yeah, I get it right back here. Um, nice heat though, doesn't kill ya. No, it doesn't. What's interesting though is that there were a couple long strands in there. Mm hmm That must be the red pepper that I have in here. Mm hmm Yeah, a couple of different kinds of pepper in there. Might be some watermelon in there as well, right? No, I guess so. Yeah, right. So, um, on a scale from zero to ten, Mike, for the pain to no pain meter, where would you put Lynx Lava by Meow That's Hot? Two or three. Two or three. I'm gonna go with a four out of ten. So if you say two, I say four. We'll split the difference. We'll call it a three. Three sounds good. Okay. Yeah. I would have picked a six. Oh yeah. Six. Angel would have picked a six out of ten. So, and you only had like a little bit. I thought it was good enough. Hmm. Huh? Different strokes for different folks. 
I guess that's what the saying is, right? So thanks very much for <laughs> trying the sauce with me, Mike. I thought there was another rating that we do. That's the one. Pain meter? Yeah, the pain to no pain meter. Mm. Okay. Yeah, why? Do you want to give it another rating? What about a tasty uh, rating? Um, I'd like to give it a rating on based on the design of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, Mike is in uh, the world of advertising. Um, that is his profession. So uh, let's hear his take on the design. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> overall, I think the branding is pretty intelligent. Meow, that's hot. That's pretty catchy. Um, I like that they named, uh, to Angel's point, that the uh, sauce is actually named based on a cat. And there's actually a cat technically in the bottle label. I think the gray is a little odd, but it's helping the color, the contrast of the sauce itself stand out on the shelf. So I feel pretty good about giving this a 7 out of 10 for design and branding. So that is an, uh, getting sauce with Evan first. A different rating for something that I never even really thought of. So uh, thanks very much for doing a video with me, Mike. Hey, anytime. You know, it was awesome to spend some time in Toronto and get to try some different foods. So um, hopefully we'll be back here pretty soon. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And we'll see you next time.